Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take ten percent. What on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square miles. That's huge! Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yes. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Oh, beat that motherfucker. So what's next? <laughs> there are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere. We gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims oh. from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. I like that. I'll have to choose that every time I play this game. <laughs> you said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Shit. Sir, we waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. <laughs> there is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Ah, uh, legal, smigo. Call the cops. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. <laughs> Candles are still lit. He should be back soon.
Okay, stop kicking indoors. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Yeah, this guy's hopped on a fucking, um, all types of shit. Then they could be all violence. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. I owe the crucifixes. You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You must talk about it. What are you doing? He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? That's he needs enough. More Leave him more. alone. Better just stand down and leave Blake oh. to it. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Maybe Blake knows what he's doing he after all. Find that Heart kid in the park. Shit. The Are you out of your mind? You all night long. You wanted them to stop. I got to do Save something. Smack him. Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? I gotta stop, Blake. He's going too far. No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you I bastard? Oh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Drop the gun! Now! Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Demon! You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. 
you shall know that 